Randy says, get rid of the ground clamp, it's junk. The ground clamp that came with the 125 has a weak spring and poor wire contact right here and poor surface contact. He is right. I got an $8 Berger replacement. It has great contact area and a strong spring and a copper braid stunt. Ugh, I have no idea how this is gonna work. Taking the lugs out. Yes, fits in there. I just gotta get it mm, shaved off to about there. What was that? Let's see. About there. In my mind, this would just pop right off. I can feel it hitting the bone. Oh, that's pretty loose. Well, I should have got something smaller. And what I got a crimper down with. Okay, look at that nice divot. That's a crimp. That's a nice crimp. Whoops. Now do I want it to go this flat side so it runs right along the edge. Maybe like that. Yeah, that's better. I'm happy with that. Maybe instead of 3 8 I could have gone for a little smaller size. That's ah, tight. I'll be welding this on here. I gotta get that rust off first. It's a hard to reach place in there. Nice. Now, for this guy. This is what we got. Yeah, not perfect. Weldable, definitely weldable. Uh, I could do better. Now it's broke. I think I'm overheating the motor. Should have used the cutoff to begin with. It probably worked a lot faster. Okay, I just know that the flap disc is going to be way too aggressive but don't want to take too much metal down but same time I want to get enough rust out of the way that's better I just want to those surfaces are gonna be all ready to go, yeah. Do 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 do. I'm loving it. Where's the clamp? Fire blanket. Uh, new ground. Bib. Uh, I don't want to burn myself, bib. I'm gonna go uh, E5, F5, and I'm gonna go just right little trigger pull right there ah wrong way did I get it I keep messing up okay turn this off let's get the grinder plugged up let's see what we have here There's a good, uh, good build up there, but still could be better. Right here, I think I'm gonna add it again, right there. Oh, did my thing go down to D? I want it on E, five, F. Get that right there, puddle it up really good. Right there. Now I'm making a mess. Hit that with the grinder. I say that's gonna be good enough for that. Now let's come hit this side.
Uh, it's as good as any. And grind her down. Oh, uh, ground her down. That is not pretty. Now that's pretty. I'm happy with that. Let's see about getting her back on. Got my little rubber, plastic rubber stomper there. Not bad, pretty good. Did a fair amount of pounding and got this thing to shrink down. So it's a lot nicer. Let's get this guy. Uh oh, dang it, too far. I hope this doesn't break it. Oh, that broke. That just broke. And gotta weld it again. Give me a lot slower wire speed and a lot lower voltage. See if I can get better penetration there. What the heck? Oh, it would help if I uh, hooked my negative or positive or up the ground. After I built the material back up that I burnt away, a much better idea was to, uh, to tap the spot weld and drive a screw into it and then break it off and i was thinking about tack welding that again but i didn't want to ruin the material around so this is a lot nicer this is lined up a little bit better look at that there's a little divot right here that needs to be worked out the main thing is getting that bracket back on I made that fit a lot better and welding probably wasn't such a good idea uh, a little bit more right there I burnt through 